Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to store each command output into separate text file with timestamp, sequence number and the command details. So in the previous section we have seen how to generate a file name with the timestamp, then the sequence number we have used enumerate method to generate sequence number of each element. Then we have even added the command with underscore we have replaced space with underscore in the command so here we are going to use same logic so to demonstrate that first i'll copy one of the previously created script it is send config from file here we were reading the config from config.txt i'll copy this script and paste it here and here first we need to replace this file with our show commands file show commands.txt and this is initiating ssh and it is storing with current conf file format and here we can see so this is storing with host name and current time but the entire output we are storing in single file now if you try running this So this is executing all these three commands and storing everything into single text file. Now we'll see how to store individual command output with the command details. So here we can remove this logic with open and now the file creation logic is going to be within our for loop because after each command we need to create a file so i'll open our previous script also i'll click on generate dynamic file name split right In right side we can see that code so this we are already doing here on top And here it is called commands and but in within the function it is command so we can use same logic here after four command in commands we can copy this paste it here I'll copy the file name logic We'll put it here and here for sending to the device now here when we are doing enumerate we are getting a tuple with two values sequence number and the command so we need to put the first element here that is our actual command now we need to write this to a file So we can take this with open after file name we need to put with open method I'll paste it here and we need to give this under with open and here we are already storing this as cmd data so we can write it through the same file and we already have this time so date and time we have imported now for each command it is enumerating and we are getting a tuple and the zeroth element is going to be the sequence number using this sequence number we are adding number here then so 
the date and time and we are replacing space with colon and then here for the command we are replacing this all these spaces with underscore now we'll try running this script we'll open and check the file so for each command it will be creating separate text file and you can see it here and if we try running this again So we'll get another set of files here with the command output. So like this you can play around with all these and now we have learned enumerate then how to do some of these string methods how to use zfill then how to do replace and how to do the strip all these we have learned.